have you ever heard of this theory about the 10,000 hours theory? Yes. Yeah. So that theory works, Lacamole right? So well. when I when I first started out, I saw Damien Rice in concert, and I I, I, I mention it in a song. I said I, don't, I won't stop till my name's in lights, Stadium Heights with Damien Rice, and literally like I watched him and was like, I want to do that one day, and wrote a million songs, did a million gigs, and have ended up kind of doing a similar thing. But it literally came from writing a song a day or two songs a day or five songs a day and just getting all these songs out of me, doing a million gigs, sometimes three gigs a day. Sometimes we did six gigs a day one year at Glastonbury. But I think um, you view it as a dirty tap. When you switch a dirty tap on, it's going to flow shit water out for a substantial amount of time. And then clean water is going to start flowing. And now and then you'll get a bit of shit. But as long as it gets out of you, it's fine. <laughs> so with songs, you're going to write shit songs at the beginning. You are. My songs were terrible. My raps were terrible. Like, I've listened to it the other day. It's awful. But I got it out of me. And the more and more you write, the more and more you experience. And then you start flowing clean water and songs start getting better and better and better. And when you just, you're on a good streak, you're writing good songs now and then you're going to write a shit song. And that song is out of you and you can move on. 